Now what I quite like to do is to measure the height of various bits of Lego. Uh, so what I have here is one figure and when I measure Wildstar I find that uh, she's height of 45 millimeters plus or minus one millimeter. So that is my measured value and that is my uncertainty because I've got the error at the top and the bottom of this figure. But then I also maybe have another figure which is even bigger. So uh, here we have um, a larger figure and if I measure the height of this figure, what we find is that this one has a height of 191 millimeters, again, plus or minus one millimeter. Now that means that these two objects, they both have the same uh, absolute uncertainty. But what I think is something more, sometimes more useful to look at is the percentage uncertainty in these measured values. Now the percentage uncertainty in this case is the absolute uncertainty over the measured value multiplied by 100. And this gives us a percentage uncertainty for a single value. Now that's really, really important, okay? This is when we just have a single measurement of uh, some kind of quantity. Now in the case of uh, Wildstyle up here, what we can see is that uh, the percentage uncertainty is gonna be equal to the absolute uncertainty, which is one, over the measured value of 45 multiplied by 100. And when you work that out on your calculator, we find that in this case, the uncertainty in this value is equal to 2.2%. When we come to something which is a lot larger, but has the same percentage uncertainty, uh, it's going to be equal to 1 over 191 multiplied by 100. So here is my absolute uncertainty, and the measured value is 191. And if we put that into my calculator, uh, I find that that's equal to 0.52. So what we can see here is that although these two objects have exactly the same absolute uncertainty, the percentage uncertainty gets a lot less when we have a larger value. And that's something which is really important that you need to be able to work out. And effectively this means that um, we might think about what is the most suitable thing to measure the height with. Maybe that uh, ruler with an absolute uncertainty of one millimeter wasn't the most appropriate thing. Maybe if we'd used uh, the digital caliper, I'll just go over here, Maybe if we'd used this with an absolute uncertainty of 0.01 millimetre, this would have then mean we had a smaller percentage in that measured value.